Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame 2. I'm your host, CPC Gamer, and I don't think this screensaver is nearly as scary as the one in the last game. Oh well. So in the last episode, we went ahead and opened the front door to Kiryu House. And I explained this in a series of horrendously garbled senses and jumbly thoughts. Now is it me? Odie's chapter's largely arbitrary. I mean, we haven't really done anything, and yet here we are in Chapter 6 already. Do you know what? I have never been able to capture those two on my first go. I am so happy that I did. The reason being is that if you aim in the center of the two ghosts, it counts as having captured both of them. So even though it only unlocks one entry on the spirit list, it counts as capturing both ghosts. And as we enter this room, we have another couple of fleeing twin ghosts. Get used to that in this game. Twins? Well, this particular house especially. There's some medicine here if you want it. There's a jar of... a jar of? There's a box of film in this chest of drawers if you want that. And there's also some really... Really creepy hanging dolls. Do you know what makes it even creepier? One of them is using Kyrie's character model from the first game. Yeah. Now you can't get these two with well, any of the standard film in the game. You have to... You know what? Given the sounds that are coming from the other side of that door, I'm kind of glad that it's locked. Anyways, yeah, if you want to capture those two ghosts running down the hallway, you have to play the game twice. But that's no worries because, well, the spirit list does stay unlocked after you complete the game, so... Hey, no worries there. There's some Type 61 film in the, t in the tatami room. And down the hall. In the deluxe tatami room. Some herbal medicine. You may, you may not need it. I kinda do because I'm really bad at this game. Through this door, we have some stairs. And the first time I loaded it, well, first time I played the game, a really, really long loading screen. Seriously. There is a save point, but for the time being, I'm going to ignore my natural cowardice and push on. Make a right at the T-junction. We find the pinned down man, which isn't really much of a ghost if you ask me. Hard to see, but like I say, he's there. You don't get any points for it. I'd rather have kept the film, to be perfectly honest with you. And up the stairs, this room is the raised tatami room. Also known as the I'm not going anywhere near that woman room. Oh. Well, there's something over here, so I guess we have to. And you probably guessed this as we came into the room. You've probably seen the filament light up already. We have to take a picture of her.
Okay, did anybody else just hear that? Or was that me? Because that was kind of freaky. Okay, through the door and beyond this junction, I am actually a little bit scared. Largely on account of I know what's coming. Before we go ahead, I do believe this is the right way. We're not going to go through the door. Well, not properly anyways, but we do need to unlock it for an upcoming section. And there's also a hidden ghost through this window. Now you see, that one's a little bit easier to see than the last one. And that one was kind of scary, but again, not too much. Yeah, this might be a bit of a spoiler to you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and equip some good film. This way, dying's not on the menu tonight. So I'm going to have to jump! So, I asked my friend Jeremy if it would be in poor taste to make that reference, and he said it would be in horrendously poor taste, but at the same time, 100% hilarious. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. So, uh, yeah, this is the fallen woman. According to the spirit list, she has become infected with some kind of darkness, and she threw herself down the stairs so that she'd die, rather than face the prospect of becoming a monster. If you listen to a spirit stone, which we will do at some point then you'll hear that she just wants to grow wings and fly away and basically just not have to put up with the thought of becoming a monster or living in this village anymore now you see what I've demonstrated here I think I may be demonstrating it you can actually literally juggle this woman if you take a shot of her at the right time, then she'll go back up to the rafters and jump again. And if you keep doing this, you can just send her up and down and up and down and... Yeah. It kind of ruins the fight, which is a shame because the fallen woman is this game's floating head. Whenever I see or hear that woman, I... I just get the jibblies. In the clock, we have some spodumene, which... Well, I was surprised to find out that this is not an entirely made-up word. It is otherwise known as hiddenite, kunsite, and lithium aluminium inosilicate. No reason for me to know that. I just like really long word phrases. For example, retinococcalio cerebral vasculopathy is a mental condition wherein the afflicted person believes that they are French. Now, despite my natural instincts, I'm not going to go to another room and scream because of something entirely different and not at all related to that fallen woman, even though I'm sat here trembling. Uh, we're just going to push ahead.
Hey, there we go. Again, I've never been able to capture those two, possibly because I still have the Type 90 film equipped. But, again, I'm going to keep it equipped because... Well, we'll see why at the beginning of the next video. That particular diary was sort of a grim portent of things to come, specifically what's going to happen as soon as we go through that door. So I think we're going to call it a video. So until next time, goodbye.